You want to try fantasy footy, but you're a bit of a rookie, so you don't want to put 10 bucks down. Well, now at moneyball.com.au, we have $50 guaranteed prize pools with free entry. Try fantasy footy today. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here with brother Normie, <laughs> one of my favorite players in the NRL. How you been, brother? Yeah, good by yourself. Yeah, I've been good, man. I've been real good. As you can see, I've been working hard. Yeah. But I'm not the only one that's been working hard, brother. <laughs> hey? Yeah, yeah. The Normie, Normie 16. Yeah. Is this the year of the Normie? Well, I don't know, <laughs> mate. I don't know, but... um. Yeah, it's going all right at the moment. Yep, and yeah. like, so how's it been for yourself? You know, you've obviously, you kind of, you played well last year, but then you just built on that again. Yeah. Has it been for you, like, mentally, have you been enjoying it? Has it been a fun ride, or? Yeah, it's, I guess it's been good. Um, You know, it helps when, when the team, everyone playing in the team's yeah. going well, and, and the team's going well, so just jump on the back of that and, and just enjoying football, really, and it's probably the most important thing. And I guess, with yourself coming from Brizzy to the Eels, Obviously, you would have been settled in ages ago. Mm. But, I mean, do you feel like now, like, Sydney's your home now? Like, you kind of fully settled in your third year in Sydney? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, does it feel like your home? Yeah, oh, 100%. Um, you know, obviously, I miss back up in Queensland, you know, family and that's yep. there. But, um, you know, um, yeah, I'd call Sydney home now. So, it's um, it's good and, and I'm loving it. And what's been, I guess, the big difference between being, you know, in Brizzy and Sydney? Like, what, what do you reckon is the most enjoyable thing about being down here rather than being back home in Brizzy, other than obviously you miss your family? But, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, you know, there's, there's so many, so much to do in Sydney. Yep. Um, you know, you go to Manly, there's a different crowd there. You go, you know, Bondi, Cronulla, you know, even in the city, Surrey Hills, there's just different crowd everywhere you go. And I guess when you're um, back up in Brisbane, you know, it's the same spot, same people and, yep. you know, same things to do. So um, that's probably the best thing about Sydney is you can go anywhere and, and do something new and, and um, yeah, it's good. And I guess you, you, you've you kind of propelled yourself from the nines, but you were already playing good footy last year. What was it like with the nines, you know, to win the nines out of nowhere? No yeah. one pictures, no one pictures. What was that like? Yeah, no, nah, it was um, it was fun. Yep. Um, I guess, yeah, the nines is all about having fun, you know. It's the first bit of footy of the year. Um, you know, that's what we went over there to do, went over there to have a ball, and, you know, we did that, and we ended up, ended up coming away with the trophy, which was, you know, a bit of fun too. It was good. And was that like an active, I guess thought from your coach and the playing group to go and just enjoy yourselves i i guess you you know you can't really go over there and, and take it too seriously like everyone wants to win it no yep. doubt. that's why they're there mm. but um yeah we we wanted to go over there and just have a bit of fun it's the first bit of footy and you know there's a lot more space and you can do a lot more stuff so it, it was a bit of fun and it was good and uh with with the eels over the last few years it's been of like a tumultuous time you know with ricky stewart leaving four years ago or was it three years ago there's a big clean up yeah, big three. clean out in the club and that's when did you come down the next year? Yeah, so I was I was coming down um, at fourteen. I was here. So did you agree with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he he um, he kind of got me down here, and yep. and then um, you know kind of left, and you know Brad Arthur stood in, and and I was probably been the best thing for me that Brad's come to the club. So yeah, it's been good. Was that kind of a shock for you personally? Because you know you had this expectation that you're going to yeah. play under Ricky Stewart. He's a bit of a legend. You know yeah. that would have been a big factor in you going there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, but you know, at the end of the day, he made his decision, and yeah. and I guess there's no point, you know, dwelling about it. Yeah. Sitting there going, oh, what am I going to do now? Yeah. So um, a lot of people asked if I had the clause, if you know, if he wasn't there, and I said, nah, nah, I didn't have it. So um, I just went down there, and and yeah, it didn't really bother me because you can't do nothing about it. Yeah. It's done. So just had to see, what, wait and see what uh, coach come in, and and Brad came in. And take us all the way back to, you know, before your debut and playing footy growing up. Uh, you, you went to Kibra High School. Yeah. You know, plays blokes like Benji Marshall, uh, Benny Teo. Yeah, Benny Teo. Benny Teo. Yeah. Like, it's got a, it's a, it's that and Palm Beach Corumbin. They're, yeah. they're, they're the footy schools yeah. in on the Goldie. Yeah. What was it like growing up? You know, was it f- always footy or was it touch footy or was um, it... You know? Yeah, I'd say always football, you know. Was it soccer with the European background that you had? <laughs> Port- Portuguese? No, no. I, I did play a bit of soccer in primary <laughs> school, yep. year seven. Um... You know, I was a striker, went all right. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo. Yeah, maybe I should have stuck to the soccer, a bit more money in there. But um, no, nah, I played a bit of soccer, but, you know, always growing up, it was always rugby league every year. Um, the old girl always asked me if I wanted to play another sport. And, you know, looking back, it would have been good trying something different. But, yeah. you know, um, you know, I love rugby league and still do now, so it's good. And what was what's a fond memory, I guess, of playing footy growing up? Playing with what are the some of the who are the some of the guys you played with? Is that NRL, like that became NRL players? Did you play with the likes of Benny Teo when you were like? Yeah, used, yeah. yeah um, Benny Teo was at uh, Kibra when I think I was in grade nine, and he was his 
last year there. So I yep. remember him. He was just. Um, I remember on our parade and, and Tupac was playing, and then I just look at the back and there's this big bald, you know, <laughs> islander and just going bopping and we're just singing it. I'm going, who's this bloke? He's a monster. <laughs> and it ended up being Benny Teo, and um, you know, I'm pretty still close with Benny Teo, yep. even though he's um, playing Union and that. And um, yeah, no. I, uh, I think it's the last time you were here, the time when we had that camp and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that army camp and yeah. he was like, we were both fully struggling. I think it was like, you know, remember that one where we had, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. had the Broncos and like, he, we, have, we were both carrying those, the, the, the ammo. <laughs> the ammo. Anyway, yeah. anyway yeah he kept on coming like he kept on saying to me bro we don't have to we don't yeah. have to take this we, we can leave now and yeah. get other clubs <laughs> we don't have to take this we're not we shouldn't be treated like this and i was like bro oh. like it's all good it's all good but yeah, then like that is it's, him to a team. it's funny because like you'd go through, oh i don't know about you but you yeah. go through stages where you'd be thinking that too like yeah. and then you'd feel sweet and then you'd yeah. feel like you know but um have you been on any army camp since that camp nah, I, nah. the torture eh? oh no, I haven't actually. No, I haven't. No, oh, bro. No. Remember how we had to sleep in the rain? Yeah, sleep in the rain. Just, just walk for all day, carrying stuff. We were so stuff. lucky that the coaches had to do it with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Because we pulled up a day yeah. short, didn't we? Remember when Gigi was blowing up? Yeah, he was, was filthy. He was filthy. <laughs> but like, we, he didn't have to do it. Yeah. Fuck, that was so hard. Um, I remember I was just reedy. And we were like trying to be like real mad, like you know, like help the boys, <laughs> and and we set up like the the, the yeah, on the, the hill there. Yeah, on the so we were there. trying to be the good guys yeah. and like be the ones to set it up. No one gave a fuck. They all just took their spots, and we got left outside with because there was no more room. Yeah, so I remember me and, that. Yeah, me and Reedy had to sleep out in the rain. Because everyone else was just like, fuck it, and just took their spots while we were setting oh, it up. No one was I remember like, that. It was oh, torch. Every torch. man for himself oh, that mate, night, yeah. wasn't it? It, it? it did the opposite. Split everyone up yeah. too. Um, but yeah, so take us back, I guess, to going from Kiba to the Broncos. Did you have any interest from any other clubs? Would, could, you know, Was there a chance you may have gone to another club? Or? Um, yeah, there's a while ago now. I guess um, Tigers were with uh, Kiba. And I think that was yeah, a little yeah. bit there. But, um, you know, I think I was with the... Um, I ended up you know, having a scholarship or whatever you want to call it with the Bronx when I was like 16 or something like that. And then, yep. so the Bronx, they've got like these junior academies, which we go on and, and I think you train with them once every couple of weeks and they do the same kind of stuff that first grade does. So I was just doing that while I was at school and and, um, and then after school, uh, you know, I was playing 20s there and was there for a year and then... You made the 2009 20s team of the year, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Was that, was that at six or fullback? Um, no, in half, yeah, in half, yeah, yeah six at six. So, um, yeah, because it was because your debut was the first time you'd really played fullback in a first, like in a legit. Yeah, so I used to play back in the day, but yep. then um, my school coach, I think, it was under 15s or something, like under 16s. You know, threw him in the halves, and and from there, yeah, that's where I played. But yeah, fullback was when I played um, fullback. You know, my debut that was um, first time I've been there for a while. Yeah, I, uh, I st- we always I, we always joke about it, but the first time you're in the first grade squad. <laughs> The first session you had? You're trying to be a hero, uh, eh? The big uh, dog come in, the oh, little kid. Oh, fuck. I can't believe it. I was so embarrassed when I'd like... But I was just in the moment, bro. I was yeah. in the moment. For people that are listening, uh, we were doing fitness. Yeah. And I was... And I was winning. I was, I was winning. Normie <laughs> I was winning. I was laughing, Normie. So this, there's a... Th- this is the whole point. I think <laughs> you were blowing up because... We've just got this kid coming in and, and having a crack in. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was so filthy. I was oh, so filthy. Yeah. So anyway, there's a 40, the 20, 40, 60. What it is, is you go up 20, back 20, up 40, back 40, yeah. up 60, back 60. You do that five times. Yeah. Anyway, so because I was lapping Normie, <laughs> and I was, you, you always give the inside lane <laughs> to the guy ahead. And this young pup, bit of baby fat still on him, yeah. bit of baby fat. Yeah. And I was shredded to the T. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you didn't give me give me right of passage, even though I was out in front and I had a bit of a blow up. Fucking get out of the fucking way. Yeah, and I you remember just looked that. at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you going on about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Denim, Denim Kemp bloke's weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if it was it like that week I apologised to you. Or it was like a six months later nah, or something. Nah, I think it was it was that week. It might have been even that RV after weights or something like that. I felt like so that. bad, man. I was like, what a loser. Yeah. What an absolute loser. This young guy, you were 18 at the time, turning yeah, 19? Yeah, yeah, 18, yeah. Fucking loser. Um, but I was serious about That was when I was like, come back from the Warriors and I was like, yeah, trying to make it back in the side. Yeah, yeah, And all the talk was about you, so there was a bit of pressure there, wasn't there? Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, was he a you know, one-hit wonder? Kind of. Oh, actually, I got my ribs broken, so I guess <laughs> on the borderline of one-year wonder. <laughs> 
Um, uh. So yeah, that debut for you. What was that like? Was that kind of, I guess, because you killed it in the trials, but no one really expected you to get named at one. Like yeah. it was kind of. It, Everyone was like, man, this, this guy's a gun. But no yeah. one was like, oh, Ivan's really going to take that step and actually put you there over yeah. Hoffy, I think it was. Yeah, Hoffman, yeah. Which, what was that like for you? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I've never really looked back at it like yeah. that much. But like you ask me now, I guess, looking back, it was just, I don't know, it was a bit of a fun and, and it was a good experience. And, you know, if anyone really knows me, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit blasé. I'm really laid back and, and just easy going. So... Back then, that's the way I took it too. I didn't really think about it too much. Like you said, no one really thought that I could, um, you know, get the job. And, and that's that's probably the way I was thinking. I was just enjoying, you know, being around those yep. caliber players that were there. You know, you got Justin Hodges, Izzy. Darren Lockyer, Izzy, you know, some some of the other boys Gerard up there. Was yeah, there. Gerard, Ridiculous. you know, all them. Like, you know, you just you just have a time of your life, especially yep. if, if football's all you want to do. Yep. And you've watched them guys growing up and now you're there. You just, I, I guess you just take it all in and, and um, you know, have fun with it, which is, you know, it was good. And the, the night of the game, uh, you saved two tries. You won, you got me into the match. I mean, like, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was, yeah, I know. Everything, it was like one of them games where everything just, you know, fell into place really. Um, you know, we were saving the tries there. I remember I held one up and I don't know how because... What were you thinking? Wait, walk us through it because we might be able to get some footage of it. But yeah, walk us through. What, what were you thinking? I think it was Scott Bolton. Yeah, Scott Bolton. Up. He's massive. Yeah. So what were you thinking and how did it all come, come about? I don't know. I just was just there and, and like I said, everything, you know, kind of fell in place. Like I, I grabbed the ball and I had a good grip and I kind of landed on my back and he landed on me kind of thing. So yeah. that's how I remember it anyway. And then, yeah, I don't know. It was just... Everything fell into place, and yep. you know, it was you know, it was a good night, and um, you know, probably everyone thought I was going to be better than, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yep. um, this mad kid that's going to you know kick on and and be like a, a freak his whole career, but you know things didn't go that way, and yes, yeah, the way it is, it's slowly built into it. We struggled as a club then though as well. It wasn't like yeah. we were in a like a guns because I think we only he's only just made the eight that year yeah, just yeah I think um, I got put back to 20s after six rounds yep um, you know yeah like, like you said the, the team wasn't going that well and you know I guess um, when they put Hoffman back there with a bit more experience and you know he was a bit bigger I was, I was pretty little back then yeah, yeah I was, um, man I remember yeah. watching one of your interviews after the game it was so funny yeah. you could barely talk I know <laughs> and like it's scary now when all the cameras come around yeah. and you know you've been playing for a while now yeah. let alone back then when you just know especially yeah and just like uh, when Wally Lewis is interviewing you too so what was that like for you yeah it a bit of a like holy shit what's yeah. going on it's pretty crazy yeah um, yeah I um yeah, it was it was just crazy. That's, yeah, that's the only way I can put it. It's yeah, it's crazy. hard to put into words. Yeah. how it all kind of feels in the moment because it yeah. feels like a blur. It feels when I when it happened when I debuted, it felt like someone I was outside looking in, like this wasn't really happening. Yeah, but um, yeah, man, that was it. You played that mad, but how was it? I guess <clears throat> being at the Bronx, and from an, from I guess a, a teammate's perspective, it never really felt like you were given confidence of like this is your position, this is where we want you. Like it kind of felt like they kept switching you around they put you to fullback and then they put you to six and you know you, you get you'd string a few games together you and Benny and you play yeah. really well and then you might have an average game or two what was that like for you um did it feel like that for you i it's yeah i guess so this um yeah it's a bit weird um yeah i guess i think 2012 was the first year actually you know got that six jersey and and yeah. um you know, after I think 2013, that's when all the the kind of change ups and all that started happening. But yeah, I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Just, really, just it's like yeah, I'm trying to think back. Like you're probably right. Like I probably didn't get the you know the best chance. But in saying that, I probably wasn't playing you know the best I could too. And yep. um, no, and that's just the way things happen, and yeah, you got to roll with it, I guess. Did you? Was it you know actively frustrating though? Like we were kind of like just give me, yeah, I guess give me a little bit of time here. Yeah, I guess I had that one year in 2012, and then they kind of bought Princey, and um, I was like, oh okay, like I've only really had that one yep. one solid year where I played at that one position. So, um, they bought Princey, and you know, obviously, um, you know, I trained at um 
five eight there all pre season, mm. and um, you know you got to back yourself that you know you're going to get yeah. um, your own spot back in that, and it didn't happen. Um, I ended up playing fullback, so um, and Princey was there, and and um, he played, and that's when the whole you know Parramatta thing came about, and and I wasn't sure what Princey was going to do. Was he going to stay on for another year, and I'm going to have yeah. to you know maybe I don't know. I don't Just know, wait. play full back again or I could have even been dropped from the side completely and, and Hoffy go back there or whatever. Yeah. I, I didn't know. So, um, you know, I kind of, um, you know, was offered a spot at Parramatta and, yeah, I, um, I took that. And I guess, because in 2012, the first half of your year, you and Benny Hunt killed it. I'm pretty sure if I remember nah, correctly. No, it was Peter Wallace. Oh, it was you and Peter yeah, Wallace. Yeah, so me and Peter Wallace were in the halves at 2012 and, and you know, the team was the going bench. good yeah. and... and um, you know, they were saying, yeah, this is it, this is it, this is the co- like Finally combination. Got that, yep. Yeah, and um, and then towards the back end kind of origin period and after that, it's, um, you know, we found it a bit hard and, you know, I guess as a team, we weren't playing the best and, and we weren't getting the results that, you know, the Broncos fan and I guess the Broncos, you know, expect and, and, um, and yeah. But um, I thought when uh, me and Ben Hunt played together like a few times Peter Wallace got injured you know we, yeah. we played good together because we played 20s together as well so yeah and then yeah man so was it I mean was it fr- did it come out of left field when Prince was signed obviously footy's footy and yeah Prince is a legend yeah like, Prince is a legend so it's yeah. nothing on Princey but yeah it's obviously the, the coaches that decide yeah. this stuff yeah was it kind of like shock did you expect it were they telling you did they t- talk to you were they- um no it was a bit <laughs> Yeah, it was just came out of the blue, and I was just like, "Oh, okay." Like I heard about it, then we got told. Yep. The princey was coming, and I guess you can't beat yourself up or whatever. So mm. he was coming, and then I just knew I had to have a big preseason. You know, and um, did Hook though speak to you and say like, "We still, you know, want you to be our number one six Or was there any like chat at all? Or was it just like oh, we brought him yeah, and whatever? Yeah, princey signed and. You know, he's just going to... I basically said, you know, you're just going to have to um, put your best uh, foot forward and, and, and train hard and that and see what happens. So, you know, I thought um, I did that. But then um, I think it was the week before round one against Manly, I think it was. Because um, so you didn't train at all at fullback the no, whole preseason. Not once. And then just he just said, leading up the game, I'm just going to put you at fullback. So... So I thought, to be honest, if I didn't make it um, five eight, well, I was going to be playing cup. Yeah. And then um, when he said, "Oh, you're playing fullback," I was relieved that I was playing yep. first grade. And um, but um, it was fullback, and you know, he kind of said, "You know, I, can, I think it can help your game in the long run in the halves, and that kind of stuff." And you know, I just I went with it, and you know, I don't mind fullback. I just don't think I've got the, you know, the the speed. And the power, like especially the returning, you know, of yeah, it. So, yeah, it's um, a big, big like the whole, you know, at the back, you know, sum up situations. Yeah, I, I can do that. But it's just, it's the, 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 you know, bringing back the ball and, and my support play kind of thing wasn't yep. up the scratch then. So yeah. Okay. So and when you, you know, did sign with the Eels, was it kind of like, you know, what well, I need a, I need a fresh start here. I need a club that is like you're the six, and there's no other like. You know, if buts yeah, or maybe yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, that's that's mainly the whole reason I went down there. To be honest, um, um, you know, when Ricky leaving, I was like, oh no, what's going to happen now? But you know, Brad came in and we sat down and had a chat, and he said, you know, you're going to be our six as well. So you know, I was pretty happy with that, and I've come I come down here, and you know, it was something different. It was fresh, and you know, probably probably a good thing that I came down here. Um, you know, um. Coming down here, you know, you just had your Jared Hayne, who was, you know, the big superstar. Ridiculous. That was it. So good. You yep. know, in the team. That's no disrespect to anyone else, but yeah. up at the Broncos, we had, you know, we had so many big names in there. You Very know what true. I mean? Yeah, I know. So yeah. coming down here, you know, you had the Hainsy as your superstar, and then the, you know, the rest of the boys were just, you know, not superstars, but they'll, you know, playing. Yeah, you know yep. what I mean? Like, yep. so when you got it, when you play there, yeah, you know, it kind of made me grow up a bit quicker. You know, yeah, you and know, you got to step chance, up, kind yeah. of thing. You know, so. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, which is good because, you know, you're up there you at the Broncos. You've got all these big names. Sometimes you can turn up the game and go, oh, you know, the big dog is going to handle this yeah. tonight. You know what I mean? Yep. That's not I'm not saying that for any other player, but that's how sometimes, yep. you know, my mentality was back then. And it was probably a bit poor, but that's just the way I thought. And um, looking back now, it probably wasn't, probably wasn't the right way to think, but that's just the way I was. And, yeah. I guess also because when you're in an environment where, you're going from a youngster, so you're like an 18-year-old, 
looking up to these guys and so you're in under 20s and you're looking up to these guys as like the big dogs mm. so you always have that in your mind that they're the big dogs yeah. whereas like when you get signed to be the six you're not considering yourself one of them but you're kind of like okay i'm no longer a young guy looking up to guys yeah i'm, I'm the six kind of thing yeah, that needs yeah. to get the job done yeah um yeah very true i mean i was speaking to wade graham a few weeks ago and he had a similar situation he went to cronulla mm. and it was the same they said to him like well you're a first grader for us we yeah. want you to play first grade yeah I guess it's a similar situation. For yeah, you. it is, and like like I said before, it just ma- makes you mature a bit, and you know, kind of step up. You got to step up every week, you know, to help get the boys to win. So, yeah. And so the first uh, first few years that you're here, you know, you, you put together some good footy, and and everything was working well. And like, guess I guess so that would have been 2014 was my 14, first year down yeah. there. Yeah, and then 15 and 16. Yeah. So 15, like, and did you get did you struggle with injury in the fo- the so fourteen, I came down here with a um, a bad knee. I did that at the end of two thousand thirteen. I was um I was end up playing cup before I got down here. I would drop for like the last seven games or something. When you decided that you were going to go, was yeah. that was that like a bit of a like not insulting, but was that frustrating? Oh, like? I was because you know I wasn't playing I wasn't playing bad football either. Yeah. So, but that that's just the way footy you is. know that's the way footy is. And you know I was back at Wynnum and I knew a few boys there, so I wasn't sour. I, like I knew the boys and. A good bunch of blokes out there, so you know I was having fun out there. And what did what did the like Bronx say to you when they said like you're going to play cup now? Or they just did it. And oh he, yeah, um, they said oh you you'd be back at cup, and then um, I was back there, but I was still with the Bronx. And then um, a couple of weeks went past, and and um, they said oh we're just going to put you back there full time. So um, I was back at Wynnum full time for about six weeks. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, but um, because that was that was a different experience. Yeah. Um, it was a bit shocking at the start, but um, that's, yeah, like I said, that's just the way it goes. And, yeah. you know, I enjoyed being out at Wynnum, and like I said, I, I knew a few boys there, so it was fun. And was that because the Broncos wanted to keep you up, but you decided to go to Eels, and they were frustrated that you'd gone to the Eels? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Well, when when, when yeah. I got told, I was like, yeah, fine, no worries, and, and just kind of got up and, and left. Um, but looking back, I probably should have asked or whatever. <laughs> yeah. but, <laughs> uh, but there's nothing you can do, and that was their decision at the time, and, you know, I respect Hook's decision, yep. and went back there, and... Yeah, um, I I went to the um, what do you call it the um, the, bo- the Broncos ball. Yeah, the Broncos ball at the end. And, you know, we had a chat, and you know, the, there was a few of us players leaving me, Nami, and that, and um, you know, they give you um, like a like a big thing with photos yep. and how many games and that, and, and it was good. Like I got to say goodbye to everyone. Yep. No one left on sour notes. So, yep. um, yeah, and then, but yeah, that's that's the way it ended. Did it make you hungrier though? Like. You know, getting put back there, we like, you know, what when I re- no, when I do go to the Eels, I'm gonna, I guess, it made you hungry to play first grade again, even though obviously you were gonna play first grade yeah. when you did get there. But did it, or was it just like, you know, what this happens in footy, this happens in footy? Yeah, well, I was just like, oh, well, I'm I'm down there. It's probably not the best way to, you know, go down to a new club. You know, finish the last six yep. games in reserve grade. But um, I kind of knew, like, I backed myself that, you know, that that wasn't gonna affect me, yep. and and um. Yeah, I was just pretty cruisy and enjoying my time at back at Wynnum there and I think in the last couple of games that's when I hurt my knee and, and oh, okay. um, I didn't I didn't really know I hurt it until after we finished up Mad Monday and I couldn't bend it or, or what I was walking on a limb. <laughs> you sure you didn't hurt it on Mad Monday? Nah, nah, because I remember in the game or the a couple of weeks before yeah, there's something wrong with my knee, eh? And then I played and that last one of the last, you know, plays of the game in the last game. Yep. I heard it and then, you know, obviously yeah, yeah, you go and have your time and have Mad Monday and that, and and after that I couldn't bend it or yep. um, move it, and then I went and seen the physios at the Bronx. And um, so yeah. yeah, so when you did get you, you got down to the Eels and your, your knee, you know, obviously hampered you because you'd injured it the year before. But then, so in 2015, started putting good footy together. What did have you, has anything changed for you? You know, you said you kind of felt like you needed to grow up and take more responsibility. You know, have you started, I guess, training harder or I guess your diet is it better? What, what's changed for you in the last two three years? Yeah, it's I don't know. It's hard. You know, I've been asked this question a lot lately. Actually, um, everyone's asking me. You know, what, what have you done or what, what's going on? You know, where, where's this good footy kind of come yeah. from? And I don't really, I can't really put my finger on it. Um, but see, I see the thing is, I, I like. For me, I know that you'd play this good. I just, like it's not a surprise that you're playing yeah. this good. I, it's just that consistently you're doing it every week. Yeah, well, yeah. that's the thing. I yeah. guess you know, as you get a bit older, and you know, it's um, you know, you play consistent every week, yeah. and 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 I guess as you're coming through, you you tend to drop in and out of games. Yeah, 
and when you drop in and out of games, if you know an opportunity arises and you know you're not there, you miss of, it kind yeah. of thing. And and they're the kind of things where if you're pl- week in week out playing good football, you know you jump on them opportunities and and then you know your football goes to another level. So I guess keeping myself in the game, mm. you know, for the full lady and wanting the ball and, and and not sitting back and letting the game you know get away from me. That's probably yep. that's probably one of the biggest things what I've um you know tried to do the last couple of years is just really you know, want the ball and, and be there at the right spot and, you know, do the right things. And has have you felt your confidence building? Like, have you felt, like, more confident going into games now or you've always kind of had that confidence? Yeah, I guess uh, a bit of both. Yeah. Um, but it seems to be like when, when, when you're, um, you know, you're on, you're on kind of thing. And, yeah. And, um, you know, I think I'm just going out there knowing every week that I'm going to be in the game and I'm not going to let the game, you know, get away from me is, um, you know... A good boost and with uh new signings this year for you you know you obviously kieran foran has been a big signing for you yeah uh who else did you sign this year that has been both really scott, good for you? Bo scott. Good defensively real yeah, good jennings. Mature. jennings yeah jennings has um, been massive Michael gordon yeah so i mean like you look at your side you, like last year you had you know, a bit of an experience whereas this year yeah. you've got like a, a legit side origin yeah. australian players then yeah. you got semi on the semi yeah. on, the, on the wing um yeah. I guess have have you felt yeah, that, that I difference? Yeah, I, I guess the last two years you can really you can really tell what them new boys have brung just with the experience and and knowing how to win. Yeah. Um. You know, I think that's what we've missed the last couple of years at Para is just you know older senior, really older senior blokes, just know how to win and they've been playing on the big stages for years now. And I guess Michael Jennings and. Um, you know, Bo Scott and Kieran Foran there, they, they just know, you know, what to do. And, um, you know, Michael Gordon's been around for a while and he knows what to do as well. So I guess, um, you know, Kieran as well, just with our, you know, last couple of years with our attack, we've probably just attacked too much and, you know, made errors and errors and errors. And then we, you know, we can't back it up in defence. So he's just brought that and, uh, you know, a cool head and, you know, steering the team around and, and yeah, it's good. And I guess, did you... I mean, I'm, I, as a mate, probably yeah. didn't. But did you did you push to kind of create the connection that you have? As in, like, did you try to hang out a bit when you did come and like get to know each other, or was it just like happened naturally? As yeah, it's gonna happen. Are you between? Are you talking about between all the new boys or me and Foz? Oh, I guess both. You know, yeah. for you and Foz, and also. <sighs> well, yeah, it was weird because with all the boys, they're they're all good blokes that have come in, and and you know, at Para, we, you know, all the boys are good too. So, yeah. you know, it's like um different team you know what I mean if you go to a different team it's kind of the same stuff you know yep. all the boys are kind of the same you know yeah, what I yeah, mean yeah, so yeah, it didn't take long for them new boys to fit in but with um, me and Foz I guess you know one of our first training runs we did 13 on 13 um, me and him um, you know we were just going through our sets and what our sets were and that when we were playing together it's, it felt like we had played before you know together and, and we had and that was one of our first sessions so we kind of like you know kind of kicked off you know early as and it was just good. felt right yeah for some just reason. felt right yeah you know what i mean felt right straight away it's like you know um he just seemed to be doing what you were kind of wanting and he you were doing what he kind of wanted yeah and it, it just, just worked it just it just flowed and after the after the first team run kind of thing and looked at each other it's like this is weird like oh really it felt like we've played together yeah. you know before it's that's like, crazy oh well like how good was that like yeah. and then it's, every week we just you know, try to work on it, and you know, his hemi's coming good now, so we're training more together, so it's good. That's that's crazy yeah, that it's no, just it's this weird. natural kind yeah. of click because usually it takes a little bit, like yeah. you know, someone wants a ball here and yeah. now and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, oh, don't get me wrong, we're, we're pretty, you know, we're going well, but yeah, we're, we're far off where we want to be, and oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, like you're kind of saying, like it's you know, we just work together and, and it's good. And I guess Parramatta as a club, you know, this year you've been killing it on the field. You know, I'll, I'll put you in my top four easy, I reckon. I think you definitely will make the top four this year. But obviously you've got your outside dramas. What's that been like for you guys as a club? Have you actively tried to keep it away from everyone or you've openly sp- like spoken about it? Yeah, um, we haven't spoken about it at all. As, you know, on our coffee breaks or, you know, just getting around training, like, it's weird because no one's brought it up. No one's really... We haven't just spoke about it. We've just been getting on with footy, really. Yep. And I guess that's the best thing about it. I don't know. 
away from football blokes have been reading about in the paper. You know, there probably has been. But, yep. you know, when we're out training, nothing said of it. You know, we just go about our business. And I think that's the best thing because, you know, if I think you bring it into training and, and that, and that's when it will start affecting us. So it's been good that no one's really brought it up. And I guess we're going to – it's soon that, you know, it's going to come yep. what we're going to get. And I guess we're going to have to come together and and um, talk about it then. And, I, and it's kind of, I guess – a, an example of you guys clearly have footy on your mind like clearly you've all bought into the fact that all that matters is playing good footy yeah and all that other shit is just whatever kind of yeah. thing um so what's so for yourself personally you know you're, you're coming off is a contract this year or next no, year? This year this year so you're coming off contract this year playing the best footy of your life you know where's your head at you know you love you love the eels but where's yeah. your head at i guess future wise what 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 is cory norman want in the future yeah um you know, I'm loving power and we we finally got a team, you know, here now and and we're going good. Um yeah, it's a bit of a shame about all the salary cap, you know, drama. It's it's kinda, you know, affecting, you know, contract talks and that now. We have to kinda sit back and, and wait and see what happens. But, you know, I believe, you know, if the if the football's good, you know, the rest is gonna sort itself out. So yeah. Um I'm I'm not trying to think about that too much. I, I just really wanna um, you know, play good footy for power yeah. and I want the team to go well and so you know I guess if, if the team's going well and you know and, and I'm going well the contract's going to sort itself out so my um, yeah I've been thinking about you know how I can play good for the, for the Eels I'm not really worried about that and I guess over the last uh, few <coughs> years for you you know you had those years where you, you struggled with the Broncos like you struggled to I guess just click at the Broncos mm -hmm. and then you've come to para, para Eels have you felt you've you know, kind of fell in love with footy again, or was there ever a time you kind of was like, "This is a really frustrating situation to be in," or do you know what I mean? Or you've just always just enjoyed footy, and footy is footy, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I guess you know sometimes you you know you, you don't feel like playing. Like I, I guess everyone's had that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just coming down here, I really enjoy Sydney, and and I guess it like yeah, it was new and and that. But I wouldn't say I fell out of love of football. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just I'm just enjoying it down here, and yep. and um. I guess, like, you know, it helps when you're happy off the field as well. Yep. You know, so I'm loving life off the field as well. And, and um, yeah, and then footy's good as well, so it's good. And, and looking back over your career, what's been, I guess, that... what's What stands out for you as a footy player? Like, when you think of your career in a high moment, what what would be your high moment? Um, too sure, eh? Um... I guess just being able to play football every week, that's good. Um, obviously, my debut was good, but, you know, I've, I've played, um, you know, a lot of um, a lot of footy now. And yep. I guess, um, you know, I just enjoy it, really. And I haven't made, any, like, any rep teams, and it's probably been my fault as well. You know, I've probably, um, you know, worried about, you know, things off the field rather than my football <laughs> at times. Um, <laughs> you know, and, um, yeah, but I just enjoying playing football you know every week and, yeah. and you know um, I could be digging holes so yeah no bro I've done that <laughs> I have done I could be digging holes I so, have dug holes you know literally. what I mean like um, you know sometimes when I'm whinging I said you know you got it that good you know it's going to pull your head in yeah. and uh, I was going to say the um, I just forgot my train of thought um no, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll just I'll just keep moving. Um, so, oh, sorry, that's what I was going to ask you. Fucking hell, Origin, like you know, you haven't made any emerging squads. Is that like a goal for you? Like you know, this is if I if I get as you said, you know, sometimes you're focused on too much out of sight of footy. Is something like where, that you sit down and go, you know what, I'm going to cut that out to eventually, hopefully, be you know in the frame yeah. to make Origin kind of. I guess you know, I, looking back probably should have you know sat down and, and set some goals you know you know a couple of years ago at least and and um yeah i'm not really that kind of person but i guess um you know looking back now i should have you know really knuckled down a few yep. more years ago and and um but i didn't and and that's the way things go and <laughs> and yeah but um you know not making them emergence sides and that that doesn't bother me too much if they didn't you know if they didn't pick me they didn't pick me up yep. i guess um yeah, it's just the way it is, and I guess you know I wasn't playing good enough to you know be picked in them sides. And is it something like is it something you oh, think about though? Like, as in if the chance arose, oh, or is definitely. In, yeah. You know, everyone wants to play state of origin if you can. That's yep. you know that's the, the pinna pinnacle of our game, and and um, you know if it if it ever happens, I guess you know um, 
yeah, it'd be good. But yeah, I guess it's another thing where you got to let the football the you know, decide that. Yeah, so. And um, yourself, are you, are you? It said on your Wikipedia that you're half Indigenous, half Maori. <laughs> <laughs> who writes this stuff so what, what are you stuff? let's clear this up what, let's clear this up are you Portuguese <laughs> are you indigenous or are you Mary what are you I'm Tahitian uh, tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this little Tahitian kid that came over on a boat <laughs> just battling please <laughs> oh, please nah. put it this way there's been word on, on the Sydney social scene that you've been telling girls that you're Portuguese. <laughs> and it's been along the lines of, like, you see these, these like, dance moves, obviously there's a bit of European influence in there. Is this true or not true? This is false. <laughs> this is false. This is false. Um, nah. False. False. False? Yeah. So, so let's put to what What is your nationality? <laughs> nah, I'm just... I'm Aussie. I'm Aussie. I'm Aussie. Yeah, I'm Aussie too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and is it also true, the rumour that when you retire from footy, you're going to become a socialite? Just a professional socialite. <laughs> <laughs> Could be on the cards. It wouldn't be a bad job. <laughs> um, you know, off the field, you know, you obviously, you know, clothing brand that you've kind of slowly just yeah. leaked out to the public. What's that like? I mean, is it, is it? Have you got a passion for that? No, not really. Um, really? It, yeah, nah. I, I wouldn't mind for it to kick off. It's me, um, Isaac, John, and Chico. Yeah, you know the uh, rules. Yeah, you know the rules. YKTR. YKTR. Um, you know. What's it's the website a, for it? YKTR.com. <laughs> Uh, I think it's at Outlook. Oh, you just go. Outlook.com. At Outlook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just get the Instagram page, I guess. Yeah, Instagram page. Um, yeah, they're cheap. They're good quality. <laughs> get out there and buy them, right? <laughs> um, nah, but yeah, like we, we were just mucking around. It used to be a thing that we used to say. Yeah. Oh, you know, the rules, like, I don't know. And then, like, we just. Isaac was like, I think Isaac's into that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he produced that documentary and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, like he's into that kind of stuff. And, you know, he said, oh, I'm going to design a, like a little, like a, like a symbol kind of thing. And I'm going to throw it on a shirt and we'll just wear it around. And Yeah, as, like, and, as a crew kind of. As, yeah, as a G up. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a G up. And then, like, we, um, you know, he started posting some f- photos of it. And a few people asked, oh, where would you get your shirt and that from? And, and we're like, oh, should we, you know, make a few more and yep. and get bigger orders? And obviously we did that and there's, you know, a few boys from each, you know, club wearing it. And yep. feedback's all right. They love it. And we got some new range coming out now. So Oh, nice, nice. So, um, yeah, it's been good and it's a bit of fun. And, you know, if, if we really want to knuckle down and, you know, take it further, you know, we might do that. But if not, it's, it's just a bit of fun at the moment. And you live with Chico still? Yeah, still live with Chico. So how's he going? Is he is he you know slowly recovering? Is yeah, he well he, he said he um he'll be back this week, but I don't think that they're going to leave it for one more week. Um, just to make sure. Just to make sure, because so you know, team. imagine re breaking it. There's oh, a, there's fuck. another eight weeks there, so yep. um I think he's a bit frustrated. He really wants to start playing some football. Yep. Um, but yeah, so he's he's held it you know together really well. For a bloke who's missed eight weeks of football, Man. and he, yeah, he loves football too. So um, yeah, he's ready to go. But um, this week he's not going to make it, and next yeah. week he uh, he'll be playing. And uh, who's been, I guess, the 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 biggest kind of larrikin you've ever played with? Who's someone in your mind as in like as a teammate that that you look back and is like he's a lar- he's always taking the piss, funny dude, whatever. Um, we'll, we'll go the eels at the moment. Who's the biggest larrikin in the eels? Who's the biggest piss taker? Other than probably yourself. Yeah. Oh. Um, Cam King's pretty good. Uh, Kingy, yeah, Kingy. Um, he's good. Um, but who do I really just sit back and laugh at? Um, there's a Nathan Peets. He's all right. Peets. Yeah, he's all right. Um, but um, <coughs> uh, Penny Terrapo, He's pretty funny because he's like more. It's more fresh ones. Oh uh, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. He's um he's a crack up, and I love what he comes up with. Um, we call him the Barry Facts. The Barry Facts. <laughs> the Barry Facts. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he comes up with you know um, I don't know something in his head, and or well, just makes things up. And I says don't know if he like makes legit. it up or whatever, but he's hilarious. So uh, yeah, probably he'd be my number one, probably Penny. And who's the worst dancer in the team? Ooh, Timmy Manor by far. Terrible? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy Manor, <laughs> easily. Um, yeah, be him for sure. So, Timmy Manor's worst dancer, worst singer. Ooh. Um. <laughs> uh. 
Nathan he's Pates. Nathan, Nathan Pates, Pates yeah. bad singer. He's the worst. He, we, we always sing in the shower and then he'll come along. <laughs> <laughs> just out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's been going. I mean, he's another guy that's finally been able to like, play some footy, even yeah. though he did get injured this year. But yeah. he's, you know, put some games together. There's always been a lot of promise around Pete's and he's finally putting it together. What's it been like for him, I guess, watching him do that? Yes, I guess it's been good. Um, you know, Pete's, he's... He's so tough. I can't believe he played with a broken neck. I remember when I did my neck against um, the Broncos round one, I carried on like I broke it, but it ended up being, I think, a blind pimple on the back of my neck. <laughs> and it was so sore. But, um, no, it was I just, so sore. <laughs> I actually just like got oh, bone no, bruising no. And, and like sprained like ligaments. Like, yep. He legit broke his neck and played on. Like I carried That's on like... Neat. I carried on like I'm embarrassed like I still got up and played one minute of the second half so I'm pretty tough <laughs> but um nah he legit broke his neck and, and he played on and I'm just, so how long did he play for, for with I with think a he played neck? a half with a, a fracture in his neck like he's not he's not all up there he's too tough for his own good and so what did they have to kind of take him off are they like we think he, they fully... found out after the game oh my god a broken neck yeah it's 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 sickening like <laughs> so what was the did the scan show like yeah he had a fracture in his, his neck he, on one of his C, I don't know but and he played a half a footy yeah I think it was a half a football like yeah and I'm a bit embarrassed the way I carried <laughs> on so yours the, was a blind pimple <laughs> <laughs> yeah a big blind pimple that I landed and on and you were out for six <laughs> 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 oh, but yeah, so he's um he's very tough player, and, and you know he gives it his all every week, and you know he probably he probably um he probably does too much, you know he could be a bit smarter. Yeah, yeah he just kind of like Carmichael when he was playing, he was running the ball back too hard. Like Wayne Bennett had to tell him to not run back so hard. Yeah, like he, but just why with his defense wise, he he's just. You know he's such a competitor, and he and he, he wants you know us to win, and yep. so he's getting in every tackle, and I think he can just be a little bit smarter, and and you know save his um, energy for a bit more for attack, but you know yep. that's just the way he is, and even with all these injuries he's getting, he, you know he said I need to kind of pull back and you know respect my body because yeah, he's yeah. absolutely got none none for it, and which is good, and he, you know he's a he's broken tough. neck, a yeah. broken <laughs> neck, like come it, on, that's, I don't have that in me. It's yeah, no, nah, it's you got to yeah, there's. There'll be something up like, here, but come on. <laughs> a bit I think, loose. But yeah, yeah he's, um, he's very tough and he's a, he's a very good player. And I guess, what would be something after footy? I know you're only 25 years yeah. old, but what was something that you'd like to do after footy? Was yeah, I get, yeah, it's just something I think about a little bit. Because like, you <laughs> never know. Like, yeah. look at Gerard, like oh, poor, He had yeah. the you know, football at the world of his feet, you know what I mean? Yep. And then, you know, boom, that happens. And, you know, he's done well now. He's still at the Bronx. And he's doing your... Yep. Your segment Legend. there, and yeah, he's killing it. But you know, I, I honestly do not know. I, really? I, I have no idea because even in school, like I kind of took school. You know, I didn't take it <laughs> serious. Like I legit like was like, yeah, I'm gonna make NRL, and I kind of took. Yeah, you know, you're just school. confident that you're gonna do it. You're in the system, kind of thing. Yeah, I just I don't know. I just I've always said it. I even like used to say it to everyone, all my family, and that they're like because my family are pretty, you know, um, you know, they work and you know. The, working the, class kind yeah, of yeah yeah working class and and they my uncles and that would always be like what, are you gonna work like what are you gonna do <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they always make me try do stuff at their work and i was like I, I don't i, I don't want to do this yeah, like, yeah. I, i'm gonna play nrl yeah kind of thing and and um you know lucky it, it, it worked yeah or i'd probably you know just be digging holes but um like looking back i kind of wish i took school a bit bit more serious and you know i went to a football school so that probably didn't help as well yeah um i kind of you know the, the school was near they the kinda beach prom- they kind of promoted as well like they promote if you're playing good footy oh, oh no nah, not not really, oh, really? So, not really okay okay not so they, really. they were good but like um you know um school was near the beach near main beach at southfoot so <laughs> oh, you know man. i was down there imagine a, a young normie down yeah. there did you have a ratty I did, and I still got it. I still got it. I cut it off, and Mum's got it up home. It was about that long. Oh my god! Yeah. Can you imagine a young normie in Southport of all places? People yeah. don't know that Southport's a pretty rough area. Yeah. Oh my god. But um, yeah. So 
yeah, I kind of wish I took school a bit serious and, and, you know, so I could have something to fall back on. But, you know, the NRL is great with, you know, us kind of players. They have courses and, and that, that you can jump in. I know Chico's doing a business course with a few other, you know, players in the league. So I guess I'm going to have to, you know, sit down and, and really have a think of what I'm going to do because, um, you know, football doesn't last forever. 100%. I mean, like, like with your, your clothing like dive into that I reckon if I, if I were you anyway yeah. just have it on the side because I yeah. that can be anything yeah. literally anything yeah um, who's a who's a player growing up that you idolised like as a footy player that you looked up and said that's 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 where I want to be when I'm you know obviously you had the dream to be an NRL player who's yeah. a player that you idolised if any or someone that you know you enjoy watching yeah uh, Brett Dallas back in the day the Brett re- Dallas <laughs> yeah. I loved what? him yeah what? I know it's, it's weird Brett Dallas Brett Dallas I just loved his speed he was a gun out in the wing eh? like he was a gun Brett Dallas him um, that's like the last person I know, anyone would ever I used to love him eh? like, what was it just because he was just, just like because he was quick he was <laughs> He could score tries. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, there's so many other wingers that could have scored tries. I know, but I don't know what it was. you got like Big Wendell on the wing just oh, killing it. I know, And you're I going know. Dallas. I know. Um, I just loved him for a bit. And then um, <laughs> the Pearl. Oh, mate. Yeah, How good he, was he? He was good. Yeah, he was gun. Like, so, um, there's no one with a... Like, I can't remember that another guy that had such a smooth... Like, everything was just smooth. Yeah. Like, everything just worked. Yeah. Yeah, but like out. as you get older, you, you new you, new players change and that like yep. growing up and that like even David Peachy, I thought he, Peachy, <laughs> he, was, Peachy, he was the man too. Oh so. my god, is it, Peachy's is a it, man. But yeah, my first one would probably be uh, Brett Dallas. Brett Dallas, yeah, far out. That's hilarious. Brett Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll ask you this question again, even yeah. though I've already asked you. But favorite rapper of all time has it changed? Is it still the same? Favorite rapper? Nah, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. Tupac? Yeah, bro, I love him. Bro. I mean, maddest mix it goes for like an hour and 15 minutes and it's just Tupac and just straight so just you can put on the Tupac greatest hits in your, your set you can't like you, you, like there's not many CDs where you can just go one to oh whatever. yeah oh, 100% like, he's it so like this is on SoundCloud and it's just got yep. his best and yeah he'd be, yeah, he's my favourite for all time I reckon you look a bit like Jay Sean Jay Sean, no way. <laughs> he been, just came out with a new song, didn't there's he? There's been word that you like think that he's goat. No, that's Jay you. Sean. That is you. No <laughs> way, bro. That's you in a club, Jay Sean, all the way. You. I reckon you've like started cutting your hair a bit like him. Nah, like fade. Nah, just the, just the fade. <laughs> just get the fade. B. <laughs> eh? Where do you get that? Where do you get that? Lens and brothers Lens out of Hill. <laughs> and he knows how to fade. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, favourite movie of all time? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big movie person, to be honest. Come um, on now, plenty of dates, I'm sure. No, that, no. Come no, on, no, Netflix no. and chill. No, whoopsie. No, none of that, right? Like, just that. a chill bit, just a chill bit. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> eh? whoopsie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh, favourite movie of all time? Um... I guess Shawshank Redemption, that's a cool one. Oh, you got to lock that. That's a very that good one. That is movie. a cool one. Um, Lord by Citizen, I don't mind oh, that one. Oh, that's, that's a mad. One. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Yeah, he's, he's the man. man. Yeah, he's the man. Do you know he's playing Mike Tyson? In oh, really? A, in a, like Mike Tyson's, like a movie about Mike Tyson. Oh, he's really? Been, yeah. He, he, if you go on uh, YouTube, you can, YouTube, he, he like explains the first scene of the movie. Yeah. Fuck, like, it sounds hectic, man. Hectic. Yeah. And uh, Dream Date, Chick Wise. Like any chick you go on a date, what, yep. date with in the world, who um, would it be? Famous, anyone. Anyone. But Rihanna. She's Rihanna, Riri. Number one. <laughs> Baby Riri. <laughs> <laughs> Ask that, anyone I'm obsessed with. Really? Her, right? I, I, she just, she can just, she just walks and knowing she's the shit, but she, you know what I mean. She doesn't have to say it. Kind of. So thing. much attitude. Just, she but just she knows. Have it. Yeah, yeah, she just knows she's the shit, and like, <laughs> and she doesn't has to, say, you know, have to say it. So. Yeah. Um, Rihanna, she's my number one, yeah. And uh, do you like Drake? Yeah, I like Drake. I like Drake, okay. I like his new little song, uh, One Dance. One Dance? Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't heard it. It's, um, it's all right. Um, I think it's off his new album coming out. The Summer in Six or whatever? Six, no, six no. God or whatever? Is it Six God or something? I don't something? know. He just put one out, but there's another one coming, apparently. <laughs> really? I think he, he, put, like, he put that mixtape out, and then there's this, like, I think there's, like, six, it's called, like, Six or something like that. Six God. No, anyway, that's old. I'm sure that's old. Really? Yeah. I'm googling it right now. Yeah. 
because but yeah he's um yeah Drake's Drizzy good. Drake so Drake yeah Drake Ke- Kendrick or J Cole oh Ooh. <laughs> you're on an island you can only listen to one now you got to kill one you got to kill, kill two got to kill, kill two, two and keep one to just chill with and listen to music I reckon I'm I'm chilling with J Cole. Yeah, he, yeah, he seems like the realest still. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, I like Drake Kendrick's. I like his music as well. J Cole's cool. Yeah, I don't know. Eh? That's a tough one, eh? Yeah, I'll probably go. The six. Do they bring their girls the or? Six. It's called, uh, <laughs> so they a group of girls or? Yes, nah, they bring their girls. Nah. They also so, so whoever has ability to pull the best chicks, they, they bring their <laughs> chicks as well. Now, the, the next album is called The Six. Is it The Six? From The Six. Oh, okay. Whoopsie, Kempi was right. No, there was but, a six in yeah. there. But you're talking about the other one. It's No, I'm talking about the one that's about to be released oh, in April. What's it called? The Six. From The, the six. six. Yeah, see, From The Six. What did you say? The Six Guy. He I said one six before this one. Oh, really? Okay. So All right, you're right. Be, yeah. Whoopsie, you got it wrong. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so Jake... Yeah, so, probably, I'll probably go... I'll probably go... Well, it's a hard one. Probably J. Cole or Drake, but J. Cole probably... And Kanye or Jake? Do you like Kanye? Oh, his new album's pretty good. That Life of Pablo. Pablo. Yeah, yeah. I used to like his old stuff. Yeah. Like um, when you heard him saying that. Yeah, con- that, that was, that was mad. Yeah, that's when he was. I reckon that's when he was, was the best. That was but college um, dropout, and there was. Fuck, oh, he's he's. Yeah, weird. but um, yeah, I don't mind his new stuff. I like a few songs, but yep. yeah. All right, brother. It's been awesome. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Again. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully you guys, everything sorts itself out off the field and you're yeah. in the top four. Cowboys this week? Yeah, Cowboys this week. So we'll see where we're at. Should be a good clash. 100%, brother. All right. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. You. You want to try fantasy footy, but you're a bit of a rookie, so you don't want to put 10 bucks down. Well, now at moneyball.com.au, we have $50 guaranteed prize pools with free entry. Try fantasy footy today.